What are my top 15 sports car pickups of 2023? Here we go. Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. So I made a lot of great sports car pickups this year. I shifted a lot of my budget from wax into singles and I'm so much happier for it. Uh, I'm gonna go through, it's like 15-ish or so cards here. No particular order because it's hard for me to really pick. And you can see a bunch of cards are missing up here uh, for obvious reasons. So first of all, maybe this is my number one, my Yaz autograph, which is gonna go off to PSA DNA to get dual graded. Love that. And then I also upgraded my Yaz rookie twice. I had an SGC 2.5. I traded it for a four plus some cash, traded it and cash for a PSA four. And then I bought a five. So those are awesome. I told this story on my uh, Wednesday video this week of my wife getting this for me for Christmas from uh, my LCS. Really love this one. Definitely a top pickup this year. Got my first playing days Jackie at the National. Really happy to have that. Pedro, rookie, autograph. Can't go wrong with Pedro. My Ken Griffey Jr. rookie autograph, upper deck. This goes in my Griffey. I also have this one right here, which is autographed, the Don Russ. Bought this at the National and I'm so glad I did. I went up to this table and he had dozens of these, all with different grades, different prices. And this one was priced at 500 flat. And I wanted it to be dual graded. The other ones were also priced at 500. And so I picked this one up and I said, would you do 375? And I th that was like my max for some reason. And he said, no, no, uh, the best I can do is 400. And I walked away. And then I was like, I went back and I said, all right, let's do 400. Thankfully, he still had it. Um, so glad I went back. That's just a lot for me to spend on one card, but it is my favorite all-time card. I was 10 in 89. I opened so many packs of 89 Upper Deck. I did pull one, but then I sold it for $75 at a card show when I was... 13 or 14 years old. Yeah. Heavy on Red Sox here. Heavy on Red Sox. Got the 55 Ted. I love the half grades. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. We've got a Shohei rookie. This is his Tops Update Chrome. 10 and then the tops chrome pitching in a 10. This one I bought at the Shriner show outside of Boston back in April. Um, he had a price to add 225 or something like that and I said I'd do 180 and he accepted at 180 and then over the next four months or so, the value shot up over $400 on this one. So that was awesome. I mean, I don't, this is probably the only card I've really ever thought of, of the value. I happened to be looking them up and I was like, oh wow, I, this card has more than doubled in value. It's probably settled back down. Oh, I don't know, since he signed with the Dodgers, I don't know. My guess was that it would settle back down around the $200 mark again after his injury, but maybe not. Orlando Cepeda, rookie autograph. This was, uh, I bought this card from Sammy Thunder and it has, somebody said this is a pinhole, but I don't know why there would be, a, maybe, maybe it's a pinhole, I don't know. It looks like a BB was shot into it and I'm sure that's not the case, but uh, it's not, it doesn't go all the way through. So I don't think it's a pinhole. I TTM'd this to Cepeda after buying the card from Sammy Thunder, and then I sent it off to get dual graded. 
I love Tristan Casas and I love the radiating rookies design. That's just such a cool design. So I had to have this one. Um, the values of these shot down in September. So I waited, I don't remember what I paid for it, probably more than what it's worth now, but uh, it was after the values had plummeted. And then I bought this one before the value of this shot way up in July. Um, yeah, I mean, these, this card in a 10 was up in like the 250 range at the end of July when he, I think he was like rookie of the month or something like that in July. I bought it for, I don't know, low hundreds. So really happy to have that in my collection. Simone Biles, the goat. Didn't pay much for this. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I just remember thinking, how do I say no to that? And I did a whole video on this Jeff Bagwell rookie autograph card. Uh, I love it. This was my childhood grail card, I guess. So it's just, it's such a cool card. This was the first year of Stadium Club and I loved it. I wanted it so badly as a kid and I had one. I don't know what happened to it. I probably also sold it at a card show because I used to set up at a lot of card shows. There's a place in Brunswick, Maine called Fort Andros and there was a card show there pretty frequently. I don't remember how, if it was monthly or whatever, but I would always get a table there uh, and set up Fort Andros. Fort Andros, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but there was a, a little place called Mill 2 that also had mini golf and video games and stuff in there in the same spot, I think. So yeah, great fun memories. And last, I believe, is this Acuna rookie auto, first Bowman auto, I should say. 2017 Bowman. Auto was graded at nine, I don't care. Pretty cool, really happy to have this. Because the auto was a nine, I got this super cheap, like 80 bucks maybe? Crazy, crazy deal. I hilariously forgot my top pickup of the year. I keep it in a different spot from the rest of my collection. So I got this video all uploaded and then I was like, oh, wait a second, my top card. So I've got to re-upload, re-edit and everything. I can't believe I forgot the number one card in my collection. Uh, that's it. Let me know in comments which is your favorite. I'll be back tomorrow, Sunday morning, with uh, clearing the bases. And then we're in 2024. So I uh, hope you guys have a great new year, and I hope to see you tomorrow.